Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. Uh, just one second. Uh, much better. Why are you wearing the Golden State Warriors? I wore the hat because I like the color. And yeah, I didn't realize I was wearing Golden State Warriors hat. <laughs> Forgive me? Say goodbye to USPC. What's up guys, I just wanted to chime in today because there's some big news right now in the playing card industry. I've been receiving so many DMs and so many messages from people who are very, very worried about what is happening with USPCC. That's the United States Playing Card Company. Now I realize that this video is not gonna be for everyone. There are a lot of people out there who don't give a crap about playing cards and that are just here for other content. That's cool, we'll see on the next video. But today, we're gonna talk about playing cards. Cartamundi, which is a European playing card company. These guys, by the way, are massive. They produce uh, playing cards for board games all over the world and they also produce playing cards for magicians and cardists alike. So they are a massive factory that produces playing cards all over the world, so big in fact. If you look at the sales from last year, USPCC sold for $112 million of playing cards. You've got to expect that this is like a two, $300 million deal. Now I know a lot of you are worried about what this is gonna mean uh, to the quality of playing cards because some of you, like myself, are so used to cards coming out of USPC. They are by far my favorite cards. I don't think any other company compares to their quality and not not to say that Cartamundi or uh, the cards printed in Taiwan are not good quality. They're great. They're just not what I'm used to. So I understand a lot of you are scared. What's going to happen? Or will there be any major changes and that type of thing? Well, right now, this is the beginning phase. So you have to understand that there's a transition going on. But aside from that, I don't think that much is going to change. So I reached out to both Cartamundi and USPC uh, if they wanted to go on the record and kind of talk about what uh, what's going to happen. So this is a message from yours. If you don't know, yours is uh, J-I-R-S. This guy is really cool. He's a cool dude. I see him at magic conventions a lot. And actually, as of last year, I believe there was talk around uh, Cartamundi acquiring USPC. So for some of us, it's not a big surprise, even though it came quite suddenly. One thing I like about yours and what I like about uh, Cartamundi is that they are so invested in independent creators. They are hugely invested in cardists and in magicians. Not to say that USPCC wasn't, but the extra attention that they go through to please the market, obviously it's a market that they want to conquer. They got a whole team that's basically helping out the guys on Kickstarter, helping out people producing their cards. So he writes, hello, Chris, we just want to take the time to assure you and our other customers that there is no need to worry about possible changes in the future. USPC is a renowned company with highly skilled staff who like us are passionate for the products and the customers. The worldwide markets which USPC operates are perfectly complementary to those of Cartamundi. This transaction is expected to close in the second half of 2019 subject to customary closing conditions, including regulatory approvals, until the acquisition is finalized, it is business as usual for both Cartamund and USPC. So for now, until the business is done and until the final contracts are signed, everything stays the same. There will be no changes. He continues, Cartamundi and USPC have a very long heritage of outstanding manufacturing. On top of that, it is our strategy to manufacture products in the countries where they are consumed. So they're not gonna be taking the United States factory and moving it to Europe. And I thought that would be a bad idea anyways. I mean, import charges would be way too insane for anybody to wanna purchase playing cards if that were the case. But that doesn't mean, if I'm reading between the lines, that doesn't mean that their factory will stay in Kentucky. Now, he words it in a way to say that our manufacture products, we wanna manufacture products in the countries where they are consumed. So he never said we're gonna keep the same factory. These factories are state of the art and a great addition to the Cartamundi manufacturing network. We have no plans to make any major changes to the products or finishes. So there you have it. No major changes coming, which is really good. Unless they're for the best, I'm totally on board. I think it's great. Obviously, I was a little worried as well. He goes on by saying another very important point. Uh, both companies will continue to operate independently of one another. USPC and Cartamundi each have their own manufacturing process and cost model. Both companies are committed to delivering great value to their customers in this competitive market. Bicycle and other USPC brands are iconic brands in their categories. Together, we plan to further strengthen the brands across the globe and to even better service the playing card community. I hope this will answer your questions. So that's the official statement from Cartamundi. I'm actually kind of excited because it's kind of like rejuvenizing the whole playing card industry and it kind of needs to be shaken up. And I think, you know, what better way to do that 
than to take it on a worldwide market. I also have a statement from USPC. This is from the president, Michael W. Slaughter. Uh, dear customer, as a valued customer of our business, we wanna share with you that Newell Brands announced today that it signed a definitive agreement to sell the United States Playing Card Company. The buyer is Cartamundi Group, a leading manufacturer and distributor of playing cards and board games. We believe that Cartamundi Group is the right owner for USPC. The synergies between USPC and Cartamundi Group will provide strategic value for both companies and unlock significant growth potential. We greatly appreciate your business and anticipate this will be a smooth transition. At this time, we expect no changes to our working relationship with your organization. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate reaching out. So here are my two cents on this breaking news. Um, I'm quite happy that this is happening. I think it's cool that this company, Cartamundi, is not a young company by any means. They are massive and they've been around for a very long time and they have literally the utmost attention to quality. Even though their playing cards are not necessarily something that I wanna use on a daily basis, I have to admit the way that they print cards, the things that they can put on cards are unlike anything we've seen in USPCC. So when that goes with foil stamping, it goes with all sorts of really, really cool things that they can add to the tuck case and the cards that we've never thought of over here or that we just can't produce. Hopefully they can bring some of what they're doing over at Cartamundi over to the United States and improve the quality of USPCC playing cards, or should I say, the new Cartamundi. That's also gonna be confusing. I, I think that's something they're gonna have to look into as well, is how do we name these cards? Because people are so fickle about their playing cards. So they're gonna be Cartamundi, which is their head office, but then there's gonna be Cartamundi USA, so it's gonna be tricky for people on Kickstarter to be like, oh, these cards were printed by Cartamundi. People are gonna to wanna to know which factory by Cartamundi they were printed by. So I think that's something that they're gonna to have to probably suss out uh, for us to be able to tell the difference before we end up buying the product. Another point that I wanted to make is Cartamundi is very, and so is uh, Taiwan, by the way. They, they are both extremely precise when it comes to printing and cutting their playing cards. Although the quality of USPCC card stock and finish is impeccable and amazing, and I wouldn't change it, the way that they print cards sometimes, you get offset cards. And I'm sure you guys have received these or you've seen these, and that's just nothing that you have control over. So in a batch of 20 or 30,000 decks, you, you, you'll have a percentage of those decks, maybe one to 2%, that'll be off printed off center. So it makes the back design kind of wonky and weird looking and it becomes a defect basically. And I've never seen that uh, with Cartamundi. They have an, a really, really precise way of printing their cards and cutting them as well. So that's really good. Hopefully they can bring some of that technology with what they're doing over there and introduce it to the machinery that we're using to print these cards over here. That would be great. Something else which I'm really excited to see is how involved Cartamundi is going to be with the cardistry community and the magic community. Now they're already quite involved. By the way, I have seen USPC at magic conventions as well, but I feel like the team over at Cartamundi is just hungrier. They're the type of guys that want to innovate. They want to make their customers happy. They want to grow this market exponentially. They don't just want to feed casinos with their cards and Walmarts with their bicycles. They absolutely want to grow and, and better their company. So I think that's a really good thing for both you and I. I'll reiterate, as long as they are printing USPCC quality cards, I have no quarrel with any of this. You know, there's going to be some questions like, What's gonna to happen to the tuck case? Uh, are they going to have the Cartamundi logo on the bicycle backs? Or uh, probably not, but are they gonna put it on the tuck case? You know, these are just small changes, and minor changes that we're probably going to end up seeing. It's gonna be interesting as well to have all the cards that used to be printed in the Cartamundi factory in Europe now have potential or a chance to be printed over here in North America. So we're gonna see a lot of those really great cards that we fell in love with at Cartamundi, uh, but the, the finish and the stock was like, eh, not, eh, not the best maybe. And now we're gonna be seeing them maybe perhaps with a USPCC quality, which is really great. As of right now, both companies are pretty, uh, pretty safe with their generalized statements saying that nothing's gonna change, don't panic. And I really hope that they work hard to keep doing that. And I think that it's in their best interest to make us happy, uh, even though we're just such a small market compared to their worldwide market of board games and casinos and everything else. I think that the cardistry and the magic and the playing card collecting market is a big part. Custom playing cards is a growing market, as you can tell by all the Kickstarters and everything else. So it's in their best interest to definitely keep us happy. So that was my two cents on the whole matter. Uh, sorry for the drawn out video. I just wanted to hop on camera and give you guys a quick update about how I feel. And uh, let me know what you feel in the comments. I know there was a lot of people on Twitter and on Instagram uh, hating on this and being like, no, the quality and everything else. But hopefully this video reassures you a little bit more that everything's gonna be fine, at least for now. 
And uh, let me know your thoughts below about this transition and, and what you think it might bring and what you hope to see with, uh, with this new change coming up. I look forward to reading those comments. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.